and welcome to today's Look At You Catwalk show. This week we'll be looking at you wearing charity shop items of clothing to prove that you don't need an impressive budget for an impressive look. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at our first two looks, which are sure to be absolutely smashing. Those were a great first two outfits. Now for those of you like myself who love to leave it till last minute to get ready, here is a quick and easy hairstyle that's bound to help you save time and look good for your Monday morning lectures. I'm joined by our lovely model Jenna who has kindly let me loose on her hair today. Thank you Jenna. Um, so I'm just going to start off by brushing the hair into half a ponytail. Um, just brush it back. It doesn't need to be particularly neat or anything. In fact, actually the messier the better. Um, yeah, it's just going to be really simple. So I'm just going to tie it into a ponytail. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a plait into a plait. Now that probably doesn't make sense, but have no fear it will do. So I'm just going to start off by braiding the hair that's within the ponytail. And then I'm going to bring in the hair that was left out and bring that into the plait as well. So I'm just doing it as a normal plait, you know, divide the hair into three sections and just pass the strands over one another. And then I'm going to start introducing the pieces from the bottom and bringing that into my braid. Once again, it does not have to be neat because these are hairstyles for when you're running late. Um, if there was a scale of lateness running from one to 10, one being I'm not so late and 10 being, oh my gosh, I need to get out of the house ASAP. This is gonna be on a five because you need a little bit of time to braid the hair. Um, but it doesn't require any styling products, any hair product, no pins, no grips, it's good to go. So I'm still just braiding, I'm coming towards the end of the braid. Um, still just plaiting. And once you get to the end of the plait, you can of course secure it with a hairband. As I'm about to show you. Right, so that's the plait done and just securing it with the hairband now and let me just turn it so you can see it on camera isn't it lovely if i do say so myself um, so that's the first hairstyle now onto the second this is for if you are on a full-blown 10 like you need to rush out the house maybe your house is on fire or something but you want to look good before you leave the house because there might be some hot firemen or something you never know um, so i'm just going to brush the hair um, and I'm going to leave it in the half ponytail and I'm actually just going to twist the hair round round and round and round and twist it round again and again and then just to finish it with a nice pretty hairband a scrunchy velvet pink scrunchy just to give the look a little more jazz and flair as you can see so a very pretty look very easy to do in the mornings or if your house is on fire, as I said, and you can rush out and do it. Right, I hope you love that hairstyle, Jenna, because I do. And now onto our final two charity outfits for this week. I can't wait to see what we have in store. Um, hopefully there'll be some fab looks.
that's another great two outfits there. It really is amazing what you can get from a charity shop. However, don't forget that charity shop clothes are partial to a bit of home styling, as I'm going to show you now. I'm joined by our model, Jenna, again. Thank you, Jenna. Um, if you could kindly start by putting on this top. This top, it's okay as it is, but you know, we can jazz it up a little bit, give it a bit of style, give it a bit of flair. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut a piece of the fabric just here and you'll see what I'm about to do with it. Right, I'm cutting it in a V-shape. Just cutting it and getting rid of this excess fabric, which then allows, in fact, do you need that cut more? And that allows Jenna to tie it into a nice little cropped shirt type thing, very reminiscent of the 90s, something that your mum might like. You can go home, show it to your mum, show her that you're cool now. And kind of, But if you're not feeling that, then we can totally transform it and turn it into a fully fledged crop top by just cutting it under the bust area. Don't cut too high, we don't want it too racy. And just cut round. It doesn't need to be neat, as most things in this show have been, and it actually looks better that it's not neat because it gives it a nice frayed edge to the fabric. And Jenna, if you don't mind lifting your arm there for me, thank you, don't want any accidents live. And just cutting, cutting. And then we can get rid of this. And voila, a nice crop top. I like this more than the first look. Jenna, do you agree with me? Yeah? Um, and then obviously you wouldn't have bits of fabric here and there. And uh, yeah, I will now show you a second look. Jenna, if you could kindly take that off for me. And we have this beautiful crocheted cardigan. Now, once again, it's okay as it is, it's a nice item, but we can do better than that. Just put it on for me there, dear. Right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna cut the sleeves off of it to give it just a nice look for the upcoming festival seasons and whatnot. I actually need to be quite careful when I'm cutting this one and make sure I'm cutting around the seams because otherwise the fabric will start to unravel. And just cutting round. And there we go, one sleeve done. And you would just do the same to the other side. Um, exactly the same procedure. And you'd have a lovely outfit that's good to go for the summertime. It will look fab. It'll look gorgeous. And the scissors are gonna fail me. But so simple and yet so effective. You get the gist of it. Thank you, Jennifer, for showing us. And now onto my favorite outfit number four. Now, please don't forget to tweet us what your favourite was from today using the hashtag look at you and selecting the outfit of your choice. But unfortunately, that's it for today's show. Thank you for watching and don't forget to tune in next time. Bye.